There is a big chance that you know someone with diabetes, as one in 11 people worldwide has the disease. I do, and for her it is of great importance to know her glucose levels, since too high or too low can cause damage to her nerves and organs. To measure her glucose level, she pricks her finger to obtain a droplet of blood. The strip, combined with the glucometer, measures the droplet so she can read her glucose levels. This is great, but unfortunately, these measurements are far from perfect. She can miss highs and lows. These measurements are obviously uncomfortable, but what most people do not realize is that enzymatic strips are not accurate enough for non-invasive detection. Well, this is Ben, I'm Nesha, and we think this calls for innovation. Luckily, we work with just a professor who found a solution. Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and I'm an associate professor in physics at the PU Amsterdam. My research focuses on material science. I recently developed a new technique for molecular analysis. I realize that this technique has a broader application in chemical detection. Ben and Nesha are master students in my group, and they've been working on this technique over the last year, trying to develop a glucose sensor. On the one hand, the hybrid approach can sense the unique molecular properties of glucose, while on the other hand, it can detect small changes in quantities. We demonstrate that we can cross-correlate both this selectivity and sensitivity for accurate glucose detection. With the open mind, we want to build a low-cost prototype. Our long-term aim is to develop a non-invasive wearable for glucose detection.